Batiste wines are Impressionist wines. And that means that we start with a piece of artwork that we really love. And from there, we make a wine. Each one of our bottlings is completely unique in that um, they're never reproduced. In a sense, they're like limited editions. If you look at the art world, there are limited edition proofs or prints that are created by artists in a series, a very limited series. And so every time we bottle a wine, um, that's it. it. It's never reproduced and it's a very special product. So most of the magic happens for artistes right before bottling. Ultimately, the true style of our winery comes from the art of blending. Right before bottling, we sit down and we actually put together a variety of different blends and come up with what we think is the perfect blend for each of the wines. But of course, the difference is, is it's based entirely on what we see in the art. In this case, we found an amazing artist from Santa Barbara. His name's John Barron. And he painted this really gorgeous painting, very simply painted, but using a lot of orange. And I immediately thought that would be the perfect painting for a lot of wine that I had in the cellar that I had previously blended with a wine called Vanessa in the vineyard and also another one called Le Fleur. And this varietal is called Orange Muscat. It's a very rare white grape. You don't see it planted widely in California. So it's one of those obscure varietals that you rarely see. And when you do see them, they're traditionally made in a sweet style. It's very aromatic. It's incredibly floral. It has intense viscosity, just really syrupy. And I barrel fermented it up in a, a small town called Healdsburg, California last year. And uh, I decided to bottle it by itself because I really felt that it was perfect for this label. So right before bottling, um, we typically blend the final blend into stainless steel tanks. These tanks are used for not only blending, but also for fining or filtering if necessary, and also settling out the sediment before we bottle. So once a wine is filtered and fined and is prepared for bottling, we then attach hoses and pumps and actually flow the wine from the tank to the bottling line. There are a variety of different techniques to bottling. You could do it by hand or you could do it by machine. In the case of Artiste, we use a small Italian bottling line that's used called Gai, and it's a fabulous machine. It bottles without uh, allowing any oxygen to get into the wine, and it bottles approximately 500 cases a day which is actually perfect for us because we typically bottle about 250 cases of two different wines each day. So then we hand fill some of the big bottles. If you'll notice, we have magnums, three liters, nine liters, and in some cases, 12 liters. Some of these large format bottles are incredibly hard to bottle. They take a lot of work. We have a small hand filler and, and then we actually cork um, each of the bottles by hand and label by hand. The larger bottles get canvas labels and those are the labels that are actually printed on very high-end canvas and hand applied. And then each of the bottles of course is hand dipped in wax. The choice of colors for the wax is always a big question that we get at the winery. Um, people always ask why do you choose blue or red for certain labels. It ultimately comes down to what looks best and what matches well with the label. Sometimes we'll pick out little accents in the painting, um, but most of the time it just looks right. People always want to know what exactly is in the wine. And when you name the wines after the painting, uh, that doesn't allude to what's in the bottle. In this case, this wine is called Silent Sunlight. So we named the wine after the painting, and then we reveal the blend. And in this case, this is Pinot Noir, Syrah, and Chardonnay. Art is very subjective and ultimately we want everyone that tastes our wines to experience it in their own way. We don't like to tell people what they're going to taste, whether it's gonna have cherry or berry or oak. Ultimately, it's up to you to decide if you like it. We put our pride and joy into them, but ultimately it comes down to your selection. We don't tell you what our impression is of our wine. It's really up to you to decide.